Fáilteoroi Varash, welcome back. Follow me, Mish Gaelge. Let's learn Irish. Section 15. D Lahan August D Quail. Broad D and Slender D. With a focus on Fáilteoroi, phonetics or pronunciation. On our reot, D Lahan August D Quail. Pronunciation Sprod D and Slender D. Lamuna, Fun Nu, and D Lahan, Augustan D Quail. So in this section, we'll be reviewing the pronunciation of the broad D and the slender D. An Auriot, D Lahan, August D Quail. Pronunciation, broad D and slender D. Eistigi, liquid B, then goed fuime. Listen to part B of the sound clip. In this sound clip, we're going to be listening to a selection of words with bo both broad and slender Ds. Listen carefully and see if you can detect the difference between the two. It's a very subtle difference, so don't worry if it's difficult to differentiate between them. Fáriacht Could be Cátas anamdit Chlorus anam dum. Cathas anam dun dinishin. Dearmid is anam do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. Fauriacht. Quid be. Cathas anam dit. Chlorus anam dum. Cathas anam dun dinishin. Fauriacht. Quid be. Cathas anam dit. Chlorus anam dum. Cathas anam dun dinishin. Dearmid is anam do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. Fauriacht. Quid be. Cathas anam dit. Chlorus anam dum. Cathas anam dun dinishin. Dearmid is anam do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. Broad D and slender D. Cod is anam dit. Chlor is anam dum. Cod is anam dun dinishin. Jermud is anam do. A do, a noid, agus a hocht, shin a de. Nu, di lahan agus di quail. Renouncing di lahan and di quail. Repeat after me. Cod is anandit. Cod is anandit. Chlor is anam dum. Chlor is anam dum. Cod is anam dum dinishin. Cod is anam dum dinishin. Jermud is anam do. Jermud is anam do. A do, a noj, a hocht, shin a de. A do, a noj, a hocht, shin a de. For this part, you'll need your handout on Auriap D. Lahan August D. Quail. Plushik tu na haberti agus na keshtina sha alanis. You will hear the sentences and questions that follow. Nor a plushin tu di quail curlina fui. When you hear a d slender d, put a line underneath it. Nor a plushin tu di lahan cur kirkel timpel air. When you hear a broad d, put a circle around it. Marhampla giadit. 
Gia is slender, so there's a line underneath the D in Dia. Fauricht. Could be. Cotus anum dit. Chlorus anum dum. Cotus anum dun dinishin. Dirmid is anum do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. Fauricht. Could be. Cotus anum dit. Chlorus anum dum. Cotus anum dun dinishin. Dirmid is anum do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. Fauricht. Could be. Cotus anum dit. Chlorus anum dum. Cotus anum dun dinishin. Dirmid is anum do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. Fauricht. Form new D Lan August D Quail pronouncing broad D and slender D. So we'll correct the previous activity. We'll listen to the sound file again, uh, knowing that she does skip over the first two. Um, the underlined will be in red and the circled will be in blue. Um, so H the G listen. Could be. Could be. anum dit. Chlorus anum dum. Cotus anum dun dinishin. Dirmid is anum do. A do a nod agus a hocht. Shin a de. So you'll notice that the slender d's are in red and underlined to make them stand out. We have gia. We have Jermud, Anoj, Ede, and then the broad Ds, Cod, Dith, Dum, Dun, Dinna, Do. As I mentioned earlier, this is a very subtle difference and may be difficult to recognize at first. The broad D is made with the tip of the tongue pressed against the upper teeth, as in duntha, closed, or durus, door. The slender D, the tip of the tongue, is against the gum behind the teeth. Ja, juk. Ja is good or well. Juk is a drink. In some areas, the slender D sounds almost like an English J. In Ulster, for example, Gia. 
Connacht Gia. Munster Dia. Most importantly, be aware and be listening for the slender and broad sounds. And remember, the consonant is going to be preceded or followed by a broad or slender vowel. Be aware of dialectic differences. There are quite a, there is quite a difference between the um, canons, and as you become more familiar, it will become easier. If you're in doubt, use the pronunciation section of Changlin.ie as a resource. All three con and T are featured there. So in this section, we reviewed an Auriac D Lahan August D Quail. We reviewed the pronunciation of broad and slender Ds. Remember, it's a very subtle difference at this point in your journey. You just want to be aware that there is a difference and that listening to the difference, you'll notice this, try and notice the slight difference. And then also note when you're writing or when you're reading and that when you have a broad vowel beside the consonant, it's going to be a broad consonant. And when you have a slender vowel beside the consonant, it's going to be slender and have that slender sound. Lecture notes and worksheets to accompany the course are available along with audio files and links to Quizlet flashcards and study tools. Original files are available to download at Pastis Oropok Nagelga's website, or edited versions can be found at simplyjacintha.com, links in the description box below. Nila Buikris, the Hastis Oropok Nagelge, as Kadahurtam, Usoid of Wint, as Nahoshna Klasar, Katalafal Er Siev. Many thanks to Tastis Oropok Nagelge for their permission to use the learning resources that are available on their website. Tasulagam, Gurvinshiv Tanavas, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Like and subscribe if you got some value out of it.